Good morning, folks. Today we've got solar activity, including growing sunspots. We'll take a look at the West Pacific storm because its forecast has changed. And we've got two big studies and updates on the ranch. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where things were fairly quiet the last day. We did have one M-class solar flare, but it was impulsive. We did have some minor filament releases. There's actually one that just happened north near center disk that I'll have to monitor for CME signatures today. Even still, it would be weak. The sunspots are going to join the plasma filaments in eruptive probability today if this development continues. The two trailing groups north and south are developing and gaining complexity. So today we're back on flare watch in addition to watching those filaments. We're going next to Storm Craython. Big storm spinning now north of the Philippines and the forecast has shifted dramatically after it was initially predicted to skirt the coastlines. It's now about to make direct impact on Taiwan. This is going to be a very rough situation. Prayers for them, in addition to the prayers for our folks here in the United States dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. First up in the articles, just one more confirmation piled onto the dozens of papers before showing how solar activity modulates the North Atlantic Oscillation. By the way, the NAO is critical for weather dynamics of nearly the entire Northern Hemisphere and even couples with the South. Speaking of solar forcing, excellent paper here on using sunspots and cosmic ray data to better understand the occurrence of climate anomalies. They have extreme predictive power, especially when it comes to the unexpected weather events. Chalk another one up for the electrodynamic atmosphere and its interaction with space weather. Folks, my next day out at the ranch will be tomorrow, October 1st. It'll be midday. As I've been saying, my 40th birthday will be at the ranch on October 19th. Then we have three big November events, two mini conferences, and a Thanksgiving potluck. The mini conferences will basically be mega doses of space weather and the magnetic pole shift information geared towards your prepping and awareness. Need to shake more of your hands in person? Come see us, observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.